it's such a rare gift, the human beings, because they can become more conscious in one lifetime. Most creatures cannot. They're set on a program on a level of consciousness that cannot change. But the design of the human organism is so precious and so beautiful, it must be saved. We can do this. It's time for people to learn how to go back to what you were taught not to know. You know, you, when you're born, you have certain things that are ingrained in your DNA. Like, it, so you can be symbiotic with your, the planet that you're from. I think that it's a total personal process and, and we can't look outside for answers. We really have to really first look at our own soul, our own heart, our own mind and really get that straight and see where we're projecting our, our hate or our yeah, dislike or whatever, our frustration on the world on the outside. Yeah, we have to take responsibility for our own lives 100% and then if we do that, then everything will unfold from there. If you decide to follow the ways of the old world, follow the ways of a new world that you are co-creating. And the biggest change that many people are inspired to is, is love. It's, yeah, it's a very, very interesting time to live in, I would say. At this moment that we're all facing so many fears and so many uncertainties, it is really important to find safe places with each other, to find places in which we can really connect from the heart with each other. We need to look at what is still here. Wherever I put my energy, that's what happens. And so let's start putting our energy and seeing the clean water, finding the, the precious places, sharing the seeds, um, surrounding ourselves with good people. Look for the good that is here and put your energy in that and let the devil fight the devil. So I think the first thing is to be truthful. Be truthful to yourself, your commitments, honor them, honor your dharma, your responsibilities. Honor life, honor yourself with the truth. We can't turn back time and that wouldn't be wise anyway, uh, even if we could. And uh, we've got to go ahead, but we've got to go ahead with some kind of compass point. We need to slow up on the use of fossil fuels. We need to slow up on the production of nuclear power plants. We need to use water more efficiently. We need to give people the opportunity to grow their own food within their home. I refuse to accept that we don't have capacities, we don't have compassion, we don't have energy, we don't have power to solve the problems of the world. I refuse to accept because I believe in me and I believe in you. Break free, do what you long for because that passion will drive you through all the difficulties. And if you match it with your skill, your gift, you can live a life that's not just awake, but fulfilled. And if everybody did that, we would have a very happy world. I always believe in many things, but one thing, that every problem in the world is born with a solution in itself. If we are open with our minds, if we are genuine, if we are committed to solve, then no problem on the earth is unsolvable.